Hello everyone, I am Manuel Pereira, lead Android developer at Bumble. In previous MadScales episodes, we have seen that Jetpack Compose introduced a lot of powerful and easy to use out of the box layouts. In today's episode, I will show you a tip on how to tweak one of those layouts to implement a fun and complex looking real life example and the benefits of doing it with Compose. Sometimes we have the cool challenge of building a beautiful UI with a unique approach. But this is not always easy to do, especially when working with views. One example like that is the height screen in the Bumble app, which has the following most important features. An infinite list of items, different item types, overlap of items vertically and horizontally, and the unique hexagon shape for each list item. We first implemented this screen with views. So to solve the problem of the infinite list and different item types, it was clear we needed a recycled grid view and view holders. For achieving the overlap of items, we tried a few layout managers, but unfortunately, this requirement caused problems with items not being recycled correctly. To solve the overlap and recycling, we had to implement a custom layout manager. This was quite a complex and tedious implementation, since we had to understand exactly how layout manager recycling policies work to avoid bugs. Finally, for achieving the hexagon, we had to create a custom view and apply a custom canvas. However, this solution doesn't allow us to reuse the shape, since it uses this custom view as a parent layout, which can limit future extensibility. In total, we had to create a lot of different classes and files create a huge amount of code, which was difficult to understand and maintain. However, once we start adopting Compose, we rewrote this screen and find out how easy it is to achieve the same result using Jetpack Compose. So, let me show you how we did this. First, we create our Edsecon Composable. The first two modifiers set the width to 55% of our screen size and a fitted height of 200 dp. Then, the clip modifiers clips the content to a provided shape. Here, it clips it to a custom hexagonal shape that we had built. And lastly, the background modifier sets our primary yellow color. Now, we can add our composable to a lazy color. By using this simple compose layout, we already have a list of items that will be recycled when scrolling. How cool is that? Next, we want to make our items overlap. Lazy layouts can receive vertical and horizontal arrangements, which can be used to adjust the spacing between items. The spacing can also be negative. So let's check what happens when we apply that to our layout. That's exactly what we wanted. In just a few lines of code, the lazy column is already properly overlapping items and correctly handling the recycling logic and check how easy it is to add another item type to our lazy column. With just one line of code, we can separate two sections in our list. By migrating to Compose, we decrease the complexity of our UI and no longer need custom views or custom layout managers. We also decrease the lines of code by 50% less than with views, which improves the readability and maintainability of our feature. So, if you have an existing complex UI written in views, consider using Compose, as we did at Bumble, as you might find that it's much easier and fun to implement. Hope that this tip was useful and showed you a glimpse of how powerful and easy to use Compose layouts are. And of course, make sure you subscribe to the channel to get more updates.